hours. Uh, Michelle Malkin, who's your favorite group? Go ahead. Do you have a, one group Im that you love? Imagine Dragons. There you go. Really? Ooh. Go look them up. Google them. If you have kids, you know who they are. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, but I love the Oak Ridge Boys, but, too, I have to say. And I but, follow them on Twitter. I'd, I'd love them to come uh, serenaded me with Alvira. Right. By the way, there's do. a group of Wiggles <laughs> here in Unitards who are very upset. That's right. They're, they're still here from the yoga thing. Hey, Michelle, let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, we just heard from Ed Henry. The President of the United States is back on vacation in Hawaii. Meanwhile, just miles from where we're sitting, there are tens of thousands of people whose houses were destroyed by Sandy. And it's interesting. You go back 60 days. The President of the United States was out at a big photo op with Chris Christie saying, I'm going to eliminate the red tape. I'm going to make sure that uh, FEMA follows through. And now 60 days later, nothing. Just f for people who have missed that from about 60 days ago, here is our president talking about how he's going to get rid of the red tape regarding Sandy. My instructions to the federal agency has been, uh, I want you to cut through red tape, I want you to cut through bureaucracy, uh, there's no excuse for inaction. I instructed my team not to let red tape and bureaucracy get in the way of solving problems. We are not going to tolerate red tape, we're not going to tolerate bureaucracy, uh, and you know, I've instituted a 15-minute rule essentially on my team, you return everybody's phone calls in 15 minutes. And so, there you, you so what do you think about talking that? about the red tape? But then, you know, people on Capitol yeah. Hill are trying to blame Boehner when he was looking at that Senate bill that was loaded up with a bunch of pork. Yeah, well, golf clap for that Oscar winning performance reel from Obama. Uh, paying lip service to the exigency and emergency and urgency of helping out Sandy victims. Uh, aloha and mahalo, right? <laughs> um, you know, there's a lot of uh, drama and kabuki and theatrics going on on, on Capitol Hill right now. Uh, I think it's ridiculous to fully blame Boehner for the gridlock uh, that's happening over this bill. Um, and the context for the spat, I think, uh, doesn't bode well for the Republican leadership because although there are die-hard committed fiscal conservatives who are sincerely um, opposing this bill because of the pork, mm -hmm. the context for this battle um, was apparently a, a snit fit between Boehner and Cantor over how the fiscal cliff vote went down. And um, we reported on this uh, on Twitchy, my... Um, curation and aggregation site over the weekend uh, that there were um, tweets and messages coming out of Capitol Hill late on Sunday that uh, the bill was pulled because of uh, you know the resentment between those two boiling over and so there's a lot of intrigue going on there in the meantime the usual pork stuffed um, emergency relief bill is finally being torn apart not so much by Republicans on Capitol Hill as uh, conservative watchdogs and activists who've been blowing the whistle on on uh, all of the piggy porky stuff that's uh, put into this uh, this bill that's supposed yeah. to be for Sandy victims, but ends up benefiting Guantanamo Bay, mm -hmm. fisheries in Alaska, Head Start. The right. Smithsonian. Right. Hey, let's talk about gun ownership for a second. It's another major issue in this country, perhaps the top issue still after Newtown. And now we're finding out that uh, Hollywood is outraged. They're cutting 30 second spots saying we have to stop this right now. But if you have pointed out before the irony of Hollywood getting upset while hiring armed security guards to protect them and their children in all aspects of their life. Don't take those yes. guns away. Yes, yes. And we've talked about it on, on this show and on Fox and Friends Weekend. There's a plug for Fox and Friends Weekend. Um, that uh, these smug elitists have such um, selective disdain for armed security. Um, you know, it's a it's, uh, concealed carry for me, but not for thee. And everyone from Michael Moore to um, my Twitter pal, Russell Simmons, who was denying that he had bodyguards, but um, has had them, you know, over a long time, his ex-wife and his daughters benefit from it, and any number of these uh, big moguls um, in Hollywood who benefit from that and, and are now spreading this anti-gun propaganda so that the rest of innocent law-abiding gun owners um, are not only marginalized, but demonized for exercising those same rights to protect themselves and their families. Yeah. And, and, and we showed a picture there of two of the editors or owners of, this is the Journal News right. there in West Nyack, New York. They also are, the, that's the newspaper 
newspaper who decided to publish a map, an interactive map of the gun owners in their district, in their uh, two counties. neighborhood, two counties. Yes. And now we've heard from Politico that they are going to have armed guards at their <laughs> offices. I mean, so they begrudge yeah. people personally from wanting to protect their homes, yet they can have armed guards at their offices because of the emails they've gotten. Yes, that's right, Ellison. And, and let me be clear that I oppose any kind of death threats or violent threats of, of any kind. But it is very difficult to muster up any kind of sympathy for these witch hunt journalists who, in the wake of the Newtown massacre, exploited it to try and go after the, the very people who make this country safer. I mean, this interactive map was completely reprehensible. There are uh, several other newspapers, and I've written about them over the years, that have done the same kind of thing, that end up danger, endangering the lives of people who have been victims of crime. I mean, did, did this paper go out and interview any of these people who were in the database to find out why they are armed mm -hmm. now? It's because they are trying to exercise their rights to protect their homes. They may have been victims of home invasion robberies, domestic violence, they right. may be widows who, be li who are living alone, and instead of doing that kind of journalism, yeah. no. They capitalized and sensationalized on a tragedy. Shame on them. Well, good for Putnam County, New York, because they're saying, uh, no, Journal News, we're not going to give you the list of who has legal yeah. guns in our county. Michelle, it's great uh, kicking off the new year with you. Thank you very much for joining you us today too. from Colorado Springs. We'll see you back here See you next this Thursday. weekend. Twitchy.com. All right. Yes.